Hi everyone and welcome back to my lab. Sorry for the lack of videos lately, but as you can see I have been busy with a project. So today I'd like to take some time and discuss the results of my work and the upcoming videos that I will be posting shortly. So what you're looking at are zinc sulfide glow-in-the-dark powders. And earlier this year I had the idea of making a glow-in-the-dark powder from readily available chemicals that would be comparable to a commercially available product. So on the left side are some of my earliest attempts that were plagued by inconsistencies and poor results. But after uh, lots of trial and error, I was able to come up with a relatively simple procedure that gives good quality glow-in-the-dark powders. These can be seen on the right side. <clears throat> the bottle in the middle is just filled with the crushed test tubes that most of these powders were made in. So the various colors you see on the right are due to the different dopings of the zinc sulfide powder with metallic ions, which produce uh, the variety of colors you see there. The orange is due to manganese, the blue is due to silver, and the green is due to copper. So the upcoming videos will be on making these powders from readily available chemicals that can be found at your local hardware store. The videos will cover synthesis of intermediate reagents, some purification techniques, and finally the production and doping of the zinc sulfide powder. I hope you enjoyed the videos and if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comments section. So now I'm going to turn off the lights and see if my camera will can pick up any of the phosphorescence. The camera doesn't seem to do a really good job of picking up the low light level, so what I'm going to do is take some pictures and put them at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.